be honest. Did you miss my face? Like, when you have a hard moment in your life, did you sit down and say, gosh, I really want to see Fahir from Awesome Dude's face because after that, everything will be easier in my life. Anyways, nowadays it has never been easier to create a game because all the game engines coming out, Unreal Engine 5, Unity, you know, 20, 30, whatever, and all of the tools that are available, which makes, as I said, very easy for people to create games. Now, another thing that comes with all of those game engines are also their asset stores, which, you know, contain templates for different variations of your game. Some even have full game templates, like you can just, you know, open it in whichever game engine editor, hit the run button and the game is already playable. And other parts contain, I don't know, a save game. Other parts contain showing ads, displaying different variations in your game, dialogues, quest systems, and all of that stuff. And with that, a lot of people are like, well, using all of those assets, it's uh, cheating. You are not a real developer. And I had this also on the comments or in some comments on my devlogs where I showcase how I create the games, the mobile games that I published it. You can play, link will be down below. And people are like, man, like 90% of your game is creating through, you know, templates and assets and that and whatnot. Well, first of all, it's not true, not 90%, but yes, I do use assets a lot. And the question here is, is that cheating? Well, you know, because a lot of people want to have that feel of being a real developer and creating everything on their own. And that's what even one of the people from the comment section said. But what I say is the question should be, what is cheating? So for example, if you're participating in a game jam that doesn't allow you to use assets and you use assets, well, that is definitely cheating. But if you're creating your own game, your dream game that you want to publish on Steam, on mobile, Xbox, Atari, I don't know, well, is that really cheating? Because essentially, at the end of the day, your job as a developer is to build something in the quickest way with the more performance best way possible. So why should you take the you know longer route and create something on your own when you can spend 10, 15, 20 dollars in the asset store and have that system already be ready basically for you to use it in your games? This is one of the things, you know, just one of the examples, especially if you work in a company, the company is not going to wait for you to reinvent some algorithm, reinvent, I don't know, whatever part of the game you're working on. And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, you're a real developer, tap you on the shoulder, good job, man. I know it took you only three months to do this, uh, but you know, you could have bought an assets or we already, we already have an asset, you know, so you should not have wasted three months of your time. So basically that's that. And also when it comes to Stack Overflow, where I talk about that a lot in my videos and I say that in order for you to be a real developer, you need to learn how to use Google, leverage Google, leverage Stack Overflow. That's why Stack Overflow is created. That's why the community is there for you to basically pick the codes and the answers that they give you so that you can use them in your own projects and make your life as a developer easier. And a lot of people are like, well, if you use Stack Overflow, you are not a real developer. Whereas I see other videos from other software engineers, people who work in big companies like, you know, the FANG companies where everybody wants to work with. Do we have FANG companies for game development? I don't know. Just, you know, if somebody knows, let me know in the comment down below. What are FANG companies for game development? But anyways, those people, you know, when they showcase their day in life, their, their work day, basically, they use Stack Overflow. And I even commented on some of those videos and I say, man, I talk about this a lot and I say that people need to learn how to use Stack Overflow. And people from the comment section, well, the, the scholars from the comment section are, are telling me that I'm not a real developer and the people respond, well, you know, they don't know what I'm talking about and all of that stuff. So essentially, as you can see, using the code from Stack Overflow, using those answers, using the assets from the asset store or Unreal Engine Marketplace, depending on which engine you're using, it's not cheating per se. You know, depending on what you are, as I said, depending on what you're doing, how you look at things, you know, people think like, am I cheating morally? Am I cheating as a developer? Because development is about creating and so on and so forth. Well, development is also about reusing things. I have built a lot of games and a lot of systems in those games that I, you know, reuse. Why should I create another player movement and torture myself and try to come up with something when I already have my player movement from the previous project that I already created that's already working? I have it running how I want it to run. 
So I don't see the wisdom. Why should I, you know, create something from scratch? Yes, of course, you will learn if you especially create something different, a different variation. But, you know, that's, the on that's not the only way how you, you will learn. Because no matter which project you're working, no matter if you work in a company, you work on your own projects, or you work some freelance project that you got, you are always going to stumble upon challenges that you did not stumble before, that you didn't know what they are, and, you know, all of that stuff. And you will be forced to think outside the box and find a solution and try to solve the problem at hand. So it's not only way that, oh, I must recreate everything. So that's not the only solution for every single problem in game development or in programming in general. So to answer this long video question, and I know somebody in the comments will be like, answer is at timestamp and whatever. Well, it's not only you can see, and I mean, from the title, you can say, no, it's not cheating, but... I wanted to, you know, say all of these things so that we can understand and get a more clear picture, especially the beginners who are starting out, who think that they need to understand everything, especially how everything works, be, you know, behind the HUD or, or, or behind the scenes, like how game objects are fetched, how they are created, uh, how, you know, Unreal Engine blueprints work and stuff like that. We don't need to know because it will not, I, I mean, it will make us more knowledgeable and we will probably, I don't know, you will improve your skills, but not that drastically. But if you, you know, just understand how to use those things, you don't need to know what they do behind the scenes. It will be totally enough for you to be a complete developer, to be a really good developer, to, you know, develop your own games, essentially. So no, you're not cheating morally. You are not cheating whatever, however people see this. Instead, you are saving yourself time, which is what a real developer does. And especially if you want to work in a company, that's something, that's one of the most essential things. They're not going to wait for you, you know, especially a company that has 100, 200, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 employees. They're not going to wait for you. Oh, yeah, that's the new guy. Give him some time because he's developing new algorithms. So, yeah, essentially using the asset store, the assets, it's totally fine. It will help you develop your games faster, quicker publish more games and, you know, build a fan base and all of that stuff. And of course, at the end of the day, build your own portfolio. So, uh, yeah, that will be my two cents. And also I have a really cool announcement that I didn't say at the beginning of this video that I will have an announcement. So for anyone who is watching, I am going to do a challenge for myself. And that is basically going to be creating 100 videos every, you know, in, in the next 100 days. So every single day I'm going to publish a video. And that's probably, probably, probably going to start from the next week. So from the next week, I'm going to start publishing videos. Going, and they are going to be tutorials for Unreal Engine and Unity. Unreal Engine and Unity every single day, you know, in parts, like creating a full game, let's say in 20 videos and, you know, every single day one video will be published. So yeah, wish me luck because you are going to learn a lot. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, comment here, and I will see you guys in the next video.